Listening to Pink Lady Presents only on LA Talk Radio. I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. I'm gonna take the town and turn it upside down. I'm gonna live, live, live until I die. Welcome, everyone, to Pink Lady Presents, It Ain't Over Till You Say It's Over. I want to thank everyone out there. The emails from you have been phenomenal. I know you love the show by just what you're saying in them, and thank you so very much, because you realize that what we do here is we exuberantly cherish lives well-lived. Now, today's guest said... If you do what you love, others will love what you do. It's the best way of feeling completely alive. Well, <laughs> my guest, Lynn Bagan Keller, definitely is alive and well. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> she is a delightful artist, songstress, and before we even do anything, we would love to hear from you because that's going to get us all in a good mood. Wonderful. I love the East, I love the West. Welcome and thank you so much. That woke us up. I love that. Absolutely. <laughs> I know. Now tell me something. The person in your life that gave you this fantastic energy and that lovely voice and, and helped you because you come from a musical family, 
Who was that? Well, that was actually my father. Um, his I, name was Art. His name is Art Depew, right. and he was a jazz trumpet player. Wow. For who? Tell us. Well, him. for Lawrence Welk. Uh, he conducted the Harry James Orchestra wow, okay. for about 18 years. I, When I was born, he was actually working for Welk as the first trumpet player for oh First Trumpet. Oh, my Okay. So uh, there's a photo of all of our family. At, I was 13 months old <laughs> in my dad's arms on the Welk show for the Christmas show because they would have all the families. Mm -hmm. Right. We we had the privilege of having the champagne lady, Mary Lou Metzger, sitting in that seat. Well, see, I met all these folks over the years. Right. When I was between five and maybe seven or eight Uh years old, we would go to Tahoe for the summer. And the Lennon sisters were my babysitters. That's funny. So they taught me all their routines. Right. And I came back one year. You'll love this, uh, yeah. Dove. And uh, I actually sang, uh, how do you keep them down on the farm after they've <laughs> seen <laughs> Paris? I love it. In my, in my class, because right. I had learned this routine from the Lennon Sisters. So I started singing and being inspired by music from the very beginning. Wow. Yeah. And how did, you, how did you become acquainted with the Randy Van Horn singers? How did that all come up? Well, wow. uh, you know, there was a series of things. I quit working for, you know, my professional career in, at, in the year 2000 okay and I was home with my three sons kind of bored frankly <laughs> um, so I decided to, to keep to start singing again but to ramp it up a little right, bit right and so one of the things that my father recommended was to join a singing group where the singers oh. were better than I was oh you know oh, that I, I had some sight reading skills right I could mm-hmm. sight right. Read music and so he said essentially you know you should be singing with people who are better than you are, you should always work with people who are better than you are because Good they voice. raise, raise you up. Absolutely. Correct, right. Yeah. I love that. So I joined them um, actually over here at Valley College. Right. And I was so scared <laughs> and very shy. Uh, and I listened a lot. Okay. But singers are very generous people. Yes, they are. They give their hearts to each other and 95% of them are very generous with their time and their suggestions. So I learned very quickly Mm -hmm. from the group. Randy Van Horn started his music in the 1950s. Oh, okay. And he was actually an arranger and, uh, of course, developed music for his group, the Randy Van Horn Singers, but also was a big band leader and did a number of things. The singers themselves did recordings like the Flintstones theme and the Jetsons theme. Um, his the group was on uh, the Nat King Cole show and the Dean Martin show, uh, Mel Torme. Well, we had the privilege. Of, that's where we first saw you. We had gone to uh, the what Viva was Cantina. It? Viva Cantina right. one night and talk about seeing them. We're going to talk about where they're going to be next. But it was it was a it's a fun little place, and we didn't know what to expect. Mm-hmm. And up comes the Randy Van Horn singers and with you and everyone. And we were, we were blown away mm-hmm. by each and every one of you. Mm-hmm. And not only that, you're, you're right. They gave to each other. Yes. Right. Now, you could yes. see it. In the, and in the and story, we right? also were really <clears throat> impressed with the fact that there was not a seat. Every seat right. was filled. People <laughs> were standing around, right. and you were competing with a band that was in another oh, part of the complex. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yet you did it, and you never lost anyone's attention. We had the best time, and it was not just enjoyable no. for us. It was watching the reaction from all these yes. people, yeah. and we would lean over the table <laughs> and say, have you seen them before? Right. Oh, we go everywhere Every, they are. Everywhere they yeah, go. You have the, that you have the, what do they call That's them? Sweet. They're groupies? There yes. You go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so we're now part of your groupies. Groupies, right. You also have um, a quartet uh, called, have, is that the Keller Juice? Yes, Tell I me have about my that. own group. Oh, um, okay. When I was developing my skill base right. as a singer, because I really started out as a hobby and then evolved into something professional, I wanted to perform as much as possible. Okay. So I have a quartet. Uh, I'm doing a Wine and Roses event for the Pasadena Tournament of Roses in November with oh, them. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, it's a fundraising event. And, and what is it called again? It's uh, it's Wine and Roses. It's actually called An Evening on the Bayou. Oh, I like and that. Okay. The, uh, the Pasadena Rose Court. Is there a date there. already? Uh, it's November 4th. November 4th. Mm-hmm. Okay. And our friend yeah. Tom Rock, who is one of the 
members of the entourage at the Tournament of Roses okay, will be go. there. He's been right. involved about 15 years. All right. One of the white was. jackets. So <laughs> I will I will see him that Please, evening. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So that's coming up in November. And then um, I do a lot of one-woman shows. You know, when you're building your skills, yes. you do whatever. Exactly. Whatever they come. There was a right. time I didn't say no to anything because I was in front of people. I was talking. I was singing. I was doing what I wanted to right. do. And it made a big difference in my mm-hmm. development. Well, you also have, and I just love this, notes from my father. I, I, I tear up when, when, when I think this is her new CD there. You, it came out when? Just a few months? Just a, just a, a year or two ago. Right. But it features uh, myself with a combo, a series of combos. But right. also my father and I, just before he passed away, did duets together. Oh. And that was such a special... That was really wonderful. <laughs> now, how, how old was he at that time? Um, he was 89. God bless him. Yeah. God bless okay. him. And Last we have 89. the electronic version of that showing yes. on the screen. And you're going to tell us how folks could get it. Actually, it's on my website, which is lynnkellersmusic.com. Okay. 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 And you can purchase it there and also on CD Baby. Okay. And, and um, one of Dad's albums is there called Ramblin' Men Jazz Band. Oh. It's okay. amazing. Okay. Dixieland Jazz. Oh, I love and that. One of the things that we'll do, because it, some people don't have a pencil and ready to go, right. is if they go to the same site where they came to see this show, we will refer them and right. direct any inquiries or Wonderful. interest in purchasing <laughs> to your site. That's one of the things that we love doing, right. is supporting people in the right. industry. Well, you know, I've noticed in this performance industry, people give back to each other yes, all they the do. time. People told me early on, keep doing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. You're doing great. And I do that to other people now. I feel like it's my responsibility because people treated me that way to give back. Mm-hmm. Now, how, in your family, I know you came from a musical family, uh, but how, like you said, you have three boys? I have three sons. Three sons. Are any of them like musically well, inclined? Well, yeah, my middle son okay. is musically inclined. He plays guitar and he oh. sings and he's very good. He's a real charming voice. You I know, like voice that. You how like how to young hear. is he? He's 25. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they're all out of college. So mm-hmm. they're all, you Great. know, doing their various levels <laughs> of <laughs> moving on in life. Mm-hmm. But he is the one that has the most interest in okay. performing. And One of the things I want to make sure that the audience knows. Uh, is that on Veterans Day, November 11th, you will be performing with the Randy Van right. Horn Singers right. at our Los Angeles National, National Cemetery. Cemetery. Right. And for those of you in Southern California, many of whom may not even know we have a National Cemetery, we do. Right. It is fantastic. It's being managed by uh, Director Tom Ruck, whose and name where I mentioned is this? before. It's at 950 South Sepulveda Boulevard. And you've at passed Wilshire it many times. I'm I know. sure you've gone right. by it on the I never knew it was there. But yeah, do I'll come out me. at 10 o'clock on 1111 and see the ceremony that we have <laughs> and the Randy Van Horn Singers. Yes, and you know, on September 20th, we're doing a show called. What is the address of Viva? That is 900 South Riverside Drive in Burbank. If you know where the Equestrian Center is, Uh Mm -hmm. it's right Right at the front of the Equestrian Center, and there's free parking. And not (laughs) only that, the food, I'm telling you right now, is excellent. Uh, So the drinks are good, the food is good, and the entertainment is Unreal. And when you walk in the door, look for somebody all in pink. All in pink, because we'll be there cheering them on. Cheering them on. <laughs> Lynn, would you mind giving us another song? Oh, certainly. Thank you. Now, sometimes I sing in Spanish. So oh, I would love that. I would love it. which Frenesi. means passion. Ooh, yes. <laughs> I'm passionate about there what you're doing. Go. Okay. <laughs> Viva solo para mí y que tú bailes por donde yo pase para que mi alma se no más de ti. Bésame con frenesí. Dame la luz que tiene tu mirada y la encienda que entre tus labios mí. Esta locura de vivir y amar y es más que amor. Lo mismo que siento yo 
Quiero que viva solo para mí. thing to say to an audience of people that, like yourself, started a career, stopped for a while, and then said, you know what, there's a life out there. I'm going to go back to it, what I want to do. What would you say to them? Be stubborn. Yeah. Do what you need to do. Right. And if, if there's work involved, still look for the fun in it. Right. Good. And and it will blossom, and even though there's work involved, your joy will, it will overflow, and that's what's happened to me. I, I can't it. imagine my life without singing. It's, um, it's a whole body experience. It is, it is. And it brings me so much happiness, and I, I get it back from people. Well, you definitely, I, yeah. I can see that. And not only that, when back. you're up there, and, and like when we saw you, uh, people feel that energy coming from you to help us get energized and enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what entertainment is all about, is making mm -hmm. not only us feel good, but the audience mm -hmm. who came to see you. They relate to your yes, story as do. their story. People have told me really touching stories about how the music that I sing mm -hmm. was Love involved it. in their life. And wow. it, yeah. it's, <laughs> I mean, it makes you tear up it does. because yeah. it's, it's so intimate. And, it, and there are times when you go to see performances and people are busy talking over each other and sort of the well, singers are yeah. background. That didn't happen with the Randy no. Van Horn no. singers. No, no, we love Everyone each other. Everyone <laughs> gave you their undivided they attention. Did. They did. They were into it. They right. were engaged. Yeah. And we became engaged. And here we are. So right. here we are with notes from my father. I love this. Can you again tell us where people can buy this? Right, it's on CD Baby. If you uh, again, a little louder. Lynn, uh, it's on CD Baby. If good. you look for Lynn Keller uh, and Art to Pew, but both of us will will you'll be able to find us. And good. then again on my website, Lynn Keller's Music, Lynn Keller's Music, which is plural. Mm -hmm. com. And on September twentieth, we will all be looking for you. The three of us will be looking for you <laughs> out there. Yeah. to be at the cantina. The Viva right. cantina. Viva cantina. Viva cantina. And then on November 11th. Uh, November 11th at our national, uh, I always say National Veterans Cemetery. I know it is. And to me, I'm so proud because we are now making the National Veterans Cemetery a destination for all of Los Angeles and all of the country when they come here because it is a national cemetery. Your group is going to honor us it's going to be a fantastic day. And it is all about lives well lived for you out there to get excited about. God bless. We'll be right back. I believe it is not the breath we take in life that counts. 
It's what we do with the breaths we take. And I should know. 84 years young. Today, on this stage, you will see talented performers all over the age of 60. Life is a cabaret, old chum. It's only a cabaret, old chum. Money! You got lots of friends hanging around that door. And your fingers touch my silent heart and taught it how to sing. Dear, with your lips to mine, oh, perhaps a deity fine, sing with the strings of my heart. To reach the unreachable. The unreachable stars. But I've got to do it all in three minutes or less. How about maybe ragtime? How about boogie woogie? Woo! Darling, let's dance. Let the music take us. The blues ain't gonna break us. We won't give it no chance. Just Georgia You've treated me so kind I'm about to lose my mind You made me so Very happy So hush Little baby Don't to reach the unreachable storm. Hi, and we are back with Pink Lady Presents It Ain't Over Till You Say It's Over. And that's the truth. I'm sitting here with a woman who definitely, definitely has an attitude and a look that we would all love to have. Oh. Model extraordinaire, Leah London. Hello, Leah. Hello. <laughs> Leah is, well, I have to tell you, I first met Leah when I went into a pageant, Ms. Senior uh, pageant, mm -hmm. and I met this lovely lady and many like her who are very, very dear friends now, who have given themselves over to realizing that age is just a number. And I'm going to show this, Leah. She was Ms. August last year in my calendar, Senior Star Power calendar. And look at her. Is she not gorgeous? There's the this calendar. Is. And Leah is just, hold it there. So you see it? There Look at that lady. In uh, yellow. Now, <laughs> tell us about, first of all, your modeling years. Well, my goodness, when I was uh, a teenager, no one ever told me that I was attractive. I didn't <laughs> know. And then uh, in my early 20s, after three children, uh, people kept telling me, why aren't you modeling? I thought, modeling me? Well, all right. And yeah. so a friend happened to be in the room at the time, and he said, you know what? I know an agent. Why don't you let me take a couple of pictures? And that's how it all started. I and love it. And who did you model for? Some of the famous oh, people, I, I know. I, I did. I modeled for them all. You know, Ralph Lauren, Calvin Klein, Halston. Uh, you notice um, how she just... You know, like all of them, Calvin Klein. <laughs> to me, those are names. I mean, I would kill to see one of them, you know what I'm saying? I just, they were fabulous. They're household names. And you must have been definitely a household name for them to see what you're modeling. Well, days. I worked out of Colorado. Okay. And which isn't the best place to work out of. You want to be the, either in L.A. or New York. Right. So I moved to L.A., but I moved for my music as well. And, um, and you also... 
you, you did a lot of musical CDs. Yes, I did. I wrote and and performed in uh, as a, an artist, right. and uh, I came out with many CDs and records, uh, and music videos. And then, you know, when someone tells me their life story, as I've known Leah for a while now, and then all of a sudden we're up. We're up with the modeling and the CDs and the this and the that, and then all of a sudden something happens in our lives, which with most people bring them down and they don't get up. With someone like Leah, tell us what happened and how Leah got up. Well, I was living life. Um, I was at the top of everything and I thought I was indestructible. Right. Indestructible. As we all, right. Yes, As and we all. I think we all right. do. Right. I was not watching what I ate. I was traveling the world. I was eating junk and, and never exercising and doing all the in, inappropriate things. Right. And having a blast, I must say. <laughs> 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 but um, I found out then that I had cancer. And oh, no. that evening, I was taken out to dinner. Uh, how, how young were you at that I time? I was about 32. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. 32. And um, I, I went out here. that night and, and there, you uh, there you go. Okay. Uh, I went out that night with Marilyn and Harvey Diamond, who wrote the bestseller, Fit for Life. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they took me, and then they grabbed a hold of me, and they didn't let go for a long time, and they taught me to change everything. Like what? Like, like what, what I ate, how to exercise, but mainly they were into the, the eating part. Um, and so I did. I just, I took the cancer as a, a chance to change my life, wow. as a warning. Right. You need to change. So I did. And I'm sure it wasn't easy. You know, it was, Jackie. Really? Okay. It was. Okay. I was determined. It was either that or you have cancer, and God only knows what happened. I get it. So um, I adapted it, and then I started studying, and every day I studied and researched all like, about... Like what? Like what? All mm -hmm. about what causes cancer, what causes okay. the body to, uh, to age, what causes the body to decay, um, to... You know, to, it, it's, all of it's a process of aging, and I didn't want to do that. And I did, particularly didn't want to have cancer. So I... Um, and what about, like, food? Tell me about food. Well, let me tell you. So I wrote the book. I, I did this, and then I wrote the book several years later. And the book is called Remain Ageless. I love that. Remain Ageless. And you can remain ageless. You really can. That's why I'm here, is to help people uh, stay young and youthful and happy and healthy and, and vibrant. It's, it's all about that. It's all about teaching you what ages you. Because we all have, we all have our hells. And those hells um, make life very difficult. If I told you what I've been through, just yesterday I was scammed on the computer. They took everything. Oh, they no. did. They did. They took everything. Oh, My no. bank account. When was this? Yes, yesterday. yesterday. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, mm -hmm. but that's what's happening, I tell you. Yes, it is. But, so what do you do? You, if you, you do? are already down and, and have let yourself age and let yourself go, perhaps that could destroy you. That's right. But it didn't. Right. It didn't. It got me for about an hour. Good you know, you. It, it mm. did, it did, and then I said, "Gosh, darn it! Mm. I'm, you know, I'll survive." We I just had survive. we we had on uh, Andy Kleinick, so Andy yeah. Cl uh, Detective Andy right. Kleinick. He's the chief of cybersecurity for LAPD. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, and he right. offered that if yes. anybody needed someone, Please. call him. We'll yes, give you his it. number oh, yep. be before you leave the studio that today. That would be wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, that's only one little hell in one's uh, life. Oh, yes. There isn't anybody out there that doesn't have their health. Correct. So wh what do you do if you are already aging and you hurt here and you have arthritis and you can't get up and you can't, you know, you have all these problems in your right, body. But right. if you don't have those problems and there's a way not to have those problems, and I explain that in the book, it has to do with how 
you feed yourself many different things, but you are what you eat. You yeah, are what you, you are. eat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I you, know, mean, you can kill yourself by what you eat and Well, drink. for instance, I'm going to ask this question. For mm-hmm. instance, now, what do you eat in the morning? I mean, you know, breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? Just give me an idea. I want, I want our audience to kind of hear what, what your day is like. Okay, well, my, my breakfast, I'm pretty far advanced in this because I've been doing it for, what, 40-some years? I'm 70-something now. Um, no, no, no. They, we're not going to let her get away with that, are we? No way. 72. And you know what? Yeah. 72. 72 years young. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Um, and there's nothing I can't do as well or better as, than when I was 18. So now, in the morning, you got okay. up? So um. the morning, I get up and I make a shake. And everything I put in there is alive. And that's the key. Oh. All foods have to be alive because it's only the nutrients uh, that you feed your body. Right. They're d- the nutrients are dead if the food is dead. Okay, so, like, give me an idea. Okay, so I put in my shake. I blend uh, good water and nuts. I blend them and I put in raw eggs. Organic, okay. organic, and I blend it to make a broth okay. type of thing. Right. And then I put in uh, an apple, a banana, um, power greens, everything that's alive. And um, I blend it all up and I drink it and that's my breakfast. I don't wow. eat again until dinner. Really? Yes. I make that's it, a little unusual. Okay. I make a very large one, okay. a very large container of it, and I drink it throughout the day. And oh, that's, okay. Yeah, okay. And that's all I need. We are creatures of habits. Yes, that's we are. what I made of myself as a creature of this habit. So when I wake up in the morning, I desire this. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm but sure you have many different blends. And are there yes. any in the book? Any yes. Here? Oh, good. Okay. So remain ageless here. And it says 69. This was when you were 69. Feeling great, and you can too, yes. which is weird, true. Now, what yes. do you what do you do for dinner? For dinner, it's only uh, a, perhaps a, a salad. Or maybe oh, a piece of okay, chicken and okay. a salad. Yeah. You, Everything you that's it. alive. Yeah, you, you, totally. But, but you're watching what you're eating. Yes. And what you've done is, I hate the word, Leah, I hate the word diet. No. I'd rather say, this is my way of life. And then, when mm. you do that, and you go off it for a moment, you don't kill a diet that you go crazy. Exactly. People yeah. just don't get that. Yes, and they also don't get, get that changing the way you are takes time. It takes six weeks to change whatever you're working on right and you must you can start with your breakfast and then work your way for six weeks for lunch or something yes right? on to lunch and then dinner and then you've got it and believe me it your entire body will changes. feel the difference mm-hmm. it changes you never again will feel the same way you do would, would now, it be appropriate to use the word behavior that yeah. you're changing yeah. the way you live your behavior yeah absolutely absolutely, absolutely. and Nothing also i need that. to tell the audience from what the way of life that, that Leah is doing, she's also a volunteer. Tell me about, and the audience, how many things you volunteer at. I think it's phenomenal what you do. Well, See, it sign, it's, very right? impo- yeah, it's very important to me um, to give back in life, and I think that's one of the keys as well. Right. To give is to get, Yeah. and if you don't give, you don't get you don't in get. life. And nobody understands it until they try it finally, you know? Okay. And a lot of people never try it, right. and they never get that. And what do you do at Okay, so, oh, gosh, I've done so many things. I've worked in the emergency room there for six years. Wow, doing what? Uh, helping. Wow. Helping in okay. any way I can. I go in uh, to children's and to veterans' uh, hospital, and I entertain them. I, I sing and dance wow. for them. Okay. And I go in anywhere I can. I do all kinds of hospitals and rehab You also do the National Alliance for Mentally Ill. What do you do for I've done them? that for 14 years. One of the hells in life that can affect you and affected me is mental illness. Wow. Okay. And um, when that happened to my child, uh, it almost devastated me. I mean, nothing's been able to devastate me in life, but that one to watch, that happened to a perfectly healthy human being really? of your child. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> and, and then they become ill, and you have to um, take them to the hospital, and they shackled him, 
Uh, it was awful. It wow. was the most. So I jumped into the National Alliance for the Mentally Ill, and I took all the classes to try and educate myself right, because right. I, I was going to heal him. I right. was, and I have. Oh, uh, fabulous. Yes. Oh. Yes, it's taken 14 years, but that's, and okay. that's how long I've worked for the National Alliance, helping everybody that has the Wonderful. hell in their life to make it better. Now, you also do and believe in, and if you see this gorgeous body here, exercise. Key. What can you tell us? I know. Tell me about key, exercise. Key. Um, well, if you don't exercise, then your body never gets oxygen. Yeah. Cells, I know. cells need to rehabilitate. They yeah. need to replace each other. And if you never exercise, they don't do it. They don't do it in your brain either. So it's really important to get that blood stirred and exercise. Like, give, give me an idea. When you say exercise, how do you, you must exercise You don't want to ask me I what don't want to ask you. Okay. No, uh, I, pl I play tennis um, oh, see, every other that. day for two, two hours. And, oh. um, and then I, I do a core building um, the stretch class on the opposite days. I always wow. get my blood stirred. It's so important it because is. if I you know. stop, you will stagnate. You will seize up. I, I have to tell you, being just within hours of my 86th birthday, going on to my 87th year, one of the things that I promised myself, I'm not waiting till New Year's. You know how New Year's, you know, all the things that you've written. You know, do for the yeah, mm -hmm. no. Now is my time. I am going to walk. I'm not going to walk a lot the first few months, but I am going to walk, even if it's from my front door around the corner. And guess what I'm going to walk with? I am decided today <laughs> to get a puppy. Oh, how wonderful. I want a dog. So, Dove, get ready because you're going to walk him if I can. <laughs> but really, <laughs> Nothing that like will give me an incentive. Yes, it it will. just It'll will. Get you out. So, I decided I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to be in good shape because right now I am to a point. It's the exercise that isn't. And that's that'll, what I have to do. That'll take you down. I, it, it, it just does. So, do you think that habits play a part in our life? And how well, do they? It's all a part of habits. Yeah. It's all a part of habits. We are creatures of habit. Once we form a habit, like, I have to exercise. Or See, I, I, I'm okay. a crazy woman. I can't stand it. I feel badly. My brain doesn't work right. I have to exercise. It's crucial. See, so it becomes yeah. a habit. You want to do you it. And you do don't it. do it because you want to. You, you know? also did a uh, video on facial and... Uh, Face and neck aerobics. Yes. And that, especially when one, shall we say gets younger. <laughs> really important for that neck. Uh, well, you know, the entire face is covered in muscle. Right. Entire face and neck. Okay, can you so, give us a couple of things that we could do in the morning? Yes, but we why get wouldn't up? you well, you okay. can go on on your phone and you can pull up the video. Oh, good. That's uh, that, that you just order and uh, it will come onto your phone or your tele, uh, television and there's a class with men and women to music. That's a 25 minute exercise, aerobic exercise for your face and your neck. Now, did you just hear something that I heard? For men and women. Absolutely. Both. Both. A lot of men, when you're talking about this, they're like, okay, well, what else are you talking about? No. Men and women. They both. have muscle as well. Yes. Yes. Perhaps yes. bigger, <laughs> you know, muscle, but they still have it. So like and a couple of things that, what if I looked in the mirror tomorrow morning? Oh what God. can I do? I'm going to make an ugly face. That's okay. Tell me what to do. So like, you squint your face as tight so as you can. Let's see it again. Let's see it. No, no. Face oh. the audience. Okay. You s I haven't done it yet. I'm talking okay. about it. <laughs> when you oh. do it. <laughs> you squint your face as tight as you can so that it pulls all the muscles together and you hold it as long like as you man? can like this. Oh. And yeah. it, was that not ugly? Ugly, <laughs> but beautiful <laughs> on her. <laughs> I love yeah, it. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. and, um, and then, so how many times do you do that? Well, you hold it as long as you can. It depends on how much time you have. The best thing is to put that on, take it to the office, take okay. it wherever you're going, and watch the class and go along with it because I'm all in that class and I'm teaching you and working your face and neck in that video. Okay, now what about my neck? The same thing. The, the exercise, when you do this, you're, you're squinching oh, your whole neck thing. together. Yes. Let's do it again. Okay, like, you're going to do it too? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I okay. am. Go ahead, what? Oh, oh. Chin down, yeah. Chin down. Oh, oh, 
I love it. <laughs> Don't show this to anyone out yeah, there. I can't believe I just Especially did this. Especially if they want from me for an audition. Don't show that. <laughs> it, it's, it's okay. But so this um, website of mine has... Okay, the, give everybody the website. It's nice aging, and loud. aging, A-G-I-N-G, right. by Leah, L-E-A, London, L-O-N-D-O-N.com. And if you go to that site, you'll be able to get all of these. You'll get the, the book, you'll get the video, you'll be able to download it, and you'll get, or I'll send it to you, um, and you'll be able to get a meditative uh, CD or download that will, when, you're, when you are comfortable and quiet, your brain is open and susceptible right. to suggestion. Right. And the suggestions that I give are, to feed yourself, to love yourself, to exercise, not exactly like this, but these are the things I'm, I key in on. It's the peaceful, wonderful ocean. Right. And if you like listen that. to it, it will help you maintain the habit and keep peace within yourself. I love that. Let me ask you something else. When you were in the pageant, mm -hmm. Miss Senior Pageant, you won Miss Senior Conejo Valley. Yes. And why did you go into the pageant in the first place? I always ask people that, because it, it is a big commitment. It just is. Well, I happened to be out performing all the time, and I was told by many, ran into some of the women that had done, had right. done it, and they said, you've got to try this pageant, you know? <laughs> and I thought, well, okay, if I would win it, I would have the opportunity to get in front of more people and help more people. So that's why I did it. Mm -hmm. I have to tell you, when I went into the pageant and I saw people like Ms. Leah London as a competitive uh, senior there, I went, what am I doing in this place? Mm -hmm. I mean, but you have to understand, you're and some of the other ladies as well, are awesome and beautiful women. Thank you. I mean, Leah just portrays what a Miss Senior is. And all in a gown, and, 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 and the way you came on, and the way you uh, sang, and, and just your, the elegance. I mean, it was, it was a little daunting for yeah. someone like moi. Yeah. One of the um, recent guests on the show was Rita Pardue, right. who is yes. Miss 2018 Miss Senior. Right. Uh, and uh, Elvia Harris, right. who is the CEO, was no, here no, no. talking about the opportunities mm -hmm. and encouraging people, right. if you've ever thought about it, do something about it. And if you've never thought about it, look into it. Yes. Because it's a wonderful camaraderie among the yes. women uh, in Southern California. Mm -hmm. I have done it uh, for you. I haven't com competed, but I have... Uh, I have gone with other Miss Senior, uh, right. Senior California people, all over California and Nevada, and and we have so much fun, and mm -hmm. we entertain, it we is. sing and dance, and and in the you know in Harrah's, and we're in the the big places, <laughs> and we do these shows that are so great and make so many people happy because music heals. Music does heal, and seeing people of an age up there that really, when you look at them, they're not of an age. Exactly. I mean, they look fabulous. Yes. Their ability, their talent is great. Yes. I mean, it makes you really and truly want to join. Yes. And uh, as I said, it was a great experience that I did. And for myself as well. Um, I need to know something, okay? Yes. Your family. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about your family. Your children, you're, you're married now for how many years? Uh, 23. 23. Mm -hmm. And you have how many? This is my many? second husband. Um, I have, uh, we have six children, six sons. Wow. Yes. And, and age-wise? I mean, uh, from, uh, they are from 40 to 52. I love it. And any grandchildren? Yes, I have five daughters. Oh, ah! Isn't it wonderful? Oh, I love it. Five no boys, girls. I know. No. <laughs> I prayed for girls, I got. I know. I, oh, it's so wonderful. But now, I, now, are any of the grandchildren any musically inclined or anything? Yes, one of them is. Oh, okay. She is amazing. She's a 
And how she, old is she? She's a 16. She'll be 17 oh. uh, very soon, and she'll be going off to college. And I don't know where yet because she's just completing her senior year. Right. But um, both of my older ones were very talented, very talented. They chose the artistic side, except the 16-year-old oh. is still doing the... Um, singing and dancing wonderful yeah, okay she's fabulous how important is sleep I sleep mean, is crucially yeah. important okay it's a it's a regenerator it it's as if you have uh, batteries in your body and when those batteries deplete right you need to charge them again okay. sad to say i often wish we never had <laughs> to sleep you know i really do um now how many hours a night do you go to sleep? I sleep for eight or nine hours a night. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed about um, midnight, oh, and I okay. sleep till about eight because I'm on the tennis court at nine. Do you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> do you see that? And look I at, sleep nonstop. But that's what happens when you do all this. Um, yes, it is. Everything works right. Yes. Everything works right. And that's, that's why I did it, and that's why I am what I am because I'm an example of that, and I have to be. Do you ever go out and talk to cancer patients about um, I talk to, you know about getting into a life even though they have cancer and and how they can help themselves? I have not done that much because um, I was I, thinking about something like that. That would be a phenomenal thing. It, it is. I'm, I mean, I Give talk people to hope. people through the yeah. radio, and I have talked to people through my book, um, but personally. Well, maybe you, maybe you have time to do that. It's not. It's a lot more time than just yes, it is saying hello and yes. I've done this. It's, right. It takes it takes camaraderie. Yes. Excuse me, camaraderie. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you did you did it right. You do it right there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So that's that's why I was have not been able to. I could spend every hour of every day just talking to people, but. It takes a lot of time. What is your next project? What, what are you dealing with now? What would you like to do or are doing? Um, I don't have anything in mind for a next project. I'm pretty much doing it all. I'm so busy. I don't have okay. a second. But uh, I love being with my grandchildren. I love babies. And I've been spending, I've been trying to spend more time with them because Good that's a very special in my heart right um, and so I'm still out there helping people and and dancing and singing and I just right now my mind does not drift to oh what do I want to do next because mm -hmm. I'm still doing it we have a suggestion for What's you that? and for our right. viewing audience yes. it's a wonderful program if you live in Southern California at the Skirball Cultural Center yes. uh -huh. on the 405 at Mulholland they have a program called Noah's Ark Oh, for parents to, or grandparents, great-grandparents to bring the kids. It's interactive. They can turn wheels and make thunder and rain <laughs> and I've, I've uh, hand that. puppets. It's mm -hmm. phenomenal, mm -hmm. uh, and I highly recommend it. Uh, we've taken Pink's great-grandchildren, <laughs> and they absolutely love it at the Skirball Cultural Center uh, it's a wonderful in Bel place. Air. It I is. love it. Yes. it, is. I love it. And there's so much one there. can do out there. Getting back to healthy habits and things, mm -hmm. We all have a, like a little dark secret that we eat, that we should not eat. Uh, my thing is, and I guess it isn't bad because I, I don't do it, uh, I don't eat candy or cake, but I need, I know it's silly to say this, but it's true, everyone, I'm telling you the truth, I must have at night a scoop of vanilla ice cream. I know, I know. Someone said, was well, that all? That's your dark secret? I mean, like, hello, Pink. But it's like, that's my energizer. Go to. Yeah, that's Why my go-to. Why would go you want to energize yourself when you're trying to come down to go to sleep? Uh, I know. Uh, I know, okay. but I'm like know. this. You know, it might be a great idea if we can yeah. segue to the video. Oh, oh sure. let's Leah do that. Has, and we could do that. Can we do that? That would be great. Just for a few minutes. Good. Yeah. Let's great. do it. Okay.
that was fabulous. Tell Thank me you. something, Leah. What about you? Uh, a website. You were telling me about your website. Can you tell yes. people about that? Yes. It. Everybody can go to it, and you can have all of all that I've been talking about, um, and change your life. You can jump in there and fix it all. And I'm always giving suggestions on new. Uh, what is the new newest form of exercise? The newest form of eating. Um, it, because things do change since, what, how long has it been? Since I was 35. <laughs> um, but uh, yes, it's informative and it's all for and about you and uh, do you, you have remaining classes? ageless. Do you have classes that you do, workshops that you're doing at all? Sometimes I do it, but I recommend that they do it online. I did that for quite a few years. Okay. I uh, taught the classes, but it was too demanding to have to be there because once you commit yourself, you have to be there. Yes. You have to yes. be there. You have to be there, and I don't have the time for that. But You have um, to clone yourself is what you have yes. to do. Yes. Well, they can <laughs> have it right there on their own cell phone. Right. They don't right. need me. They can have it all right on their own cell phone at aging by Leah, L-E-A, L-O-N-D-O-N, dot com. Well, it's been absolutely a delightful, delightful you, time sweetie. with you. Thank I mean, you. when I talk about attitude, when I talk about people that are out there energetic-wise or people that have a, a zest for life, Leah, you're the example Thank you. of aging what I call with grace and dignity. Thank you. And that doesn't have to start when you're over 60. Let mm -hmm. me tell you something. It can begin. It starts when you're, exactly, it, start, it can start when you're 30 and 35 because so many people out there now realize when I talk about getting up and getting out and getting a life, you know, my new book. And by the way, thank you for buying my book at Amazon.com called Get Up, Get Out, and Get a Life, Pink Lady. So you go to Amazon.com and you type in Get Up, Get Out, and Get a Life, Pink Lady. And my book, like yours, talks about aging at any age. You start be, to age right. at, in the late at, 20s. Oh, and now I was going to say the day you're born we age, Aww. if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So to me, when I tell people that it's only a number, you know what? Yes, it is. But it's your attitude yeah. right from the beginning mm -hmm. that it's not over, mm -hmm. that I can do anything, that if you're 35 and 40, it's not like you have one career. You can have two, three, and four careers today. And that's what you've shown us. That's what I've shown. Dove is all over the board with um, president of National Cemetery and, and the VH. Uh, for, I mean, you have so many things <laughs> that we're all doing. So it's not our age. It's us. And if we have the exuberance, if we have the attitude with gratitude, you have to have both. Am I right? Absolutely. I mean, and we have had, we've been blessed that people sitting where you're sitting right. from the entire cross-section you cannot name a field we even had believe this or not <laughs> officer bird a 43 year old macaw, macaw parrot this big that oh, I love it. for 43 years he's been going into schools with right. lapd teaching safety that's fabulous. and he was here on this program that's fabulous yeah so we've we've had it all yes and by the way again about um Detective uh, Andy, Kleinick. Andy Kleinick from the LAPD Cyber Security Department. Mm -hmm. Please, if you have any issue, please call them and ask for and Detective Andy. And to make Andy. it easy for you, go on to the same place uh, that you did to come to this show, and you will see an email, pinklady7 at earthlink.net. Right. We will be happy to refer it. Don't give us all the details. Don't no. tell us the story. Just tell us you need help about cybersecurity. With your name we'll and your email. It, name, email, and uh, uh, we'll make sure that Andy gets it. And he yeah. has committed to us. And our experience right. with him has been that he and his team will get back to you. And they will help you. That's wonderful. Isn't it amazing? I just had that yesterday. Right. Mm -hmm. And now you And it's happening right. more and more and more. Don't ever answer the phone call from Apple, ever. <laughs> they never call. No, and, and either does Earthlink. 
Yes. So yeah. Earthling does an apple. My dear friends, thank you for watching Pink Lady Presents. It ain't over till you, you, and myself, and you <laughs> say it's, it's over. over. God bless. <laughs> See you next time. Bye-bye, folks. Thank you. You're listening to Pink Lady Presents, only on LA Talk Radio.